Welcome back. We're heading on another recovery to the same location as last video, unless there's a video between, but I don't think so. Anyways, probably pretty much the same spot. Um, Denny is still in Mexico and it's Denny's birthday today. So even though when you see this, it's going to be a belated birthday, wish Denny a happy birthday and uh, go check out his channel also in the description. Anyways, he's not here. So Jack is hopping in with me. Uh, you've seen Jack in previous videos, um, including the one where he spilled his coffee. Hopefully he doesn't spill his coffee today, but we'll see. Stay tuned. There he is. Yo! There's the <laughs> unit. How's it going? No coffee on the side. No coffee. Day's looking good. It's a good day. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, awesome. Nice. Weather's good? Yeah. Can't complain? So much better. So we're heading to Terrace Mountain. Same, probably almost exactly the same spot as last weekend pulling a truck out, so. Couple of girls trying to go to a waterfall hike. A little less snow than last weekend. spot that I pulled the Silverado from last weekend. They made it further than that. Apparently they're in a CRV so they'll be considerably lighter and obviously be able to make it a lot further. We'll see just how far. person that got stuck up here. They weren't so lucky. Onward. Their footprints we've been following for the last kilometer or so, so they had to walk over 30 minutes for service, they said, so should be getting pretty close. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good. Yeah, no, we really yeah. just wanted to go see a waterfall. <laughs> Well, yeah, it gets considerably worse after this, so oh, okay, well, that's yeah. good. <laughs> you started to turn around at least. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Tried to attempt a three point, but. Nice. Okay. Who'd you get my number off of? Uh, Jesse. Jesse and Jackson. From last weekend? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That we pulled out, like, yeah. right back there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, because yeah, I called him, because we're friends, and I was like, look, like, I might need your truck to come get us. Like, you might need... And he was like, I don't know. Like, I told you I'm an off-road. I didn't tell you I had to get rescued. I was like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Left that part out. Yeah. Uh, Sweet. Okay. Well, we will... Yeah, we'll probably get you turned around right here. Because okay. it's a good Perfect. spot. They stayed for it at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We wore shorts, so we were like, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that there would be this so much snow up There's, here. Uh, it changes fast. And then the cliff, too. We were like, oh, we can't turn, turn around with the cliff there. Yep. Yeah. What is that? Should I got my foot Yeah. Uh, There's no threads to put in a tow hook there. Oh, it's probably one of those ones you put in and turn like 90 degrees. It's just a bar. There's no... Oh. There's, there's, Never mind then. There's a... Uh, yeah. Huh. Well, we'll just pull straight back because um, it's not going to take much at all. So yeah. if you can get a soft shackle around the control arm, that'll be good. Yep. Oh, wow. uh, we oh. were just wanting to go. We knew for like maybe 15 minutes that we needed to turn around. And that this we was also went be out last night to the club what? and then we woke up this morning and she's like, do you still want to go to the waterfall? Yeah! And we yeah. just did like knocks like down the street. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I really want to go to the waterfall. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, we'll go to the waterfall. So it's all your fault. <laughs> I, can, I can drive on the highway in like in Calgary, like in snowstorms. <laughs> so for some reason it gives me like an ego complex. So I'm like, I can drive in the snow. Like You did. I mean, you did until you didn't, but like, 
you made it pretty far. So that's pretty good. So we'll pull you back okay. and then, and then get you back around. on the road there. And then I'll pack a little spot that you can back into. So okay. if you need to pull your front around. So do you, like, can we do that? Can we do that? You're or... experienced. Oh, you got right? it. Yeah. yeah. You're Put all that. <laughs> yeah, you're just bragging. So you, it's your time to shine. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Pretty intense. <Yeah. laughs> okay, and then just pull forward a little bit, kind of back into the tracks. Pull like forward back a bit. onto the road as if you're driving up. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so we'll get her to pull forward and then I'll try and pack a little bit that she can hopefully back into. And if we do enough times, then we can probably get her going this way without me pulling again because uh, she's got winter steel wheels on, so there's not much to hook to to pull her sideways. But even if she gets stuck, we'll get it. If you want to just pull forward, like, because we'll actually use where you got stuck to turn around. So if you want, yeah, go like 20 feet past. <laughs> you guys ever have to pull people out from like ditches? Like oh yeah, like that yeah. blue car back there is down there. Yeah, we've uh, we've done some like significant ones, um, mm -hmm. like full size one ton truck and trailer uh, up Gillard. Wow. Like a pro. Easy. Yes. Country <laughs> driving. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you so much. Too easy. Like, okay, how do I like e-transfer you or what? Like, I don't have service here. It's gonna be so just, much. Just wait. So expensive. <laughs> what do you make of that one? Yeah, I mean, this is the time of year when this exact type of thing happens a lot because down in the valley, it's like 15 degrees, everything's melted. It's even dusty the first couple kilometers of the Forest Service Road. So everyone thinks it's the same conditions up here. But as you can see, it's not. It gets uh, deep real fast. And I mean, most years it'll continue to be deep for another month or two. This year it'll probably be melted in a month, but we still have winter left in the mountains. Got the girls out and uh, now we get to enjoy the rest of the nice day. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite as fast as Quad God. <laughs> yeah, no, she's no Quad God, but I don't think anyone can match him. No. He's a machine. She's ripping though. Yeah. Thought we were gonna be crawling down the hill. Didn't know it was gonna be a race. You go for the pass. Yeah. Let's see how it is up here. Yeah, good. 
half inch of ice on top too. but I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah. Crazy. Made it back to dirt. So the video from yesterday with the Silverado getting stuck, these two are actually friends of theirs. Uh, she called him for him to come pull her out. And ironically enough, uh, they made it further than their buddy from yesterday uh, by probably three or four kilometers. So he was not coming to pull them out. That's how they got my number. And now everyone's heading down safe. It's good. Funny story. Made it back to the main road. Back into the dust where you would never suspect that it's winter just a few kilometers up the hill. It's the next day. I am off on another off-road recovery and I figured since the last one was uh, pretty easy that these ones would just get slapped together. So I am by myself again today. Just my bag along with me so hopefully the customer is down for hooking themselves up and if not, then uh, I guess they can walk home. It's another beauty day in Kelowna. This one's actually on the west side, um, in West Kelowna technically. 19 degrees Celsius, so spring has definitely sprung. People are looking to get out, and um, I think a lot of the times they think that uh, up the mountain is the same weather as in the valley, and it is not. Um, I mean, I guess that was the case on the last one also, but anyways, they're in the snow. We'll go get them out. 3,333 feet. We're into some snow. That's the cross country skiing club over there. This is the road that I have done the most recoveries on so far this year by far. So I think part of the reason for that uh, is that it's plowed and paved up until like 3,800 feet. And then you can instantly get onto the Forest Service Road and it's very deep snow. This is where you turn off from plowed pavement to unplowed Forest Service Road. This area here is super popular for having fires and kids sledding and stuff. And some people venture a little further. Couple vehicles having a fire, but they don't look very stuck. Probably a little further. So this is like 30 seconds later, and you can see how in a small amount of time it turns a lot worse. So there's the standard ruts that are pretty packed, but if you get out of them, it's already over a foot deep. Oh, there's a Chevy half ton. They don't look stuck. Also having a fire. On we go. Don't know if you can tell on camera or not, but definitely is one set of skinny tires going out and not back. So it's a pretty good sign telling me they're this way. It's still 11 degrees at, oh, exactly 4,000 feet. Look at that. So, the snow is slushy. There they are. Just crossed the 5K mark. Oh, no one there. So I figure that might have been them back at the campfire. Well, I'll turn around, go back down, and see if uh, one of them is the owner. So they're really not stuck bad. Um, but just getting close to the ditch and so-so tires. So it was definitely the right time to give up because it just would have gotten worse. So head back down. Um, probably one of the guys down there. I guess I should have stopped and asked before ripping up, but here we are. 
back down we go. All right, so found him. He's gonna get it hooked up and uh, we'll pull this puppy out. No tow hooks on the front, so we're gonna try and go to the control arm because uh, it's just gonna be an easy pull. Your control arm there is what we usually go to. Um, you can kind of see it through the wheel there. Um, right yeah. Okay. Awesome. So I'll hand you this one. Okay. Soft shackle. You used one of those before? It's pretty pretty around, straightforward. Yeah, but pretty straightforward. Yeah, just the hole at the end. You open up, put that through. Once it's through the strap and around your control arm. This guy. Yep, that's the one. Beauty. Sweet. And then I'm gonna give you another one. I was in the mud yesterday, so it's a little dirty. Another one here. Beauty. So I've got two D-rings on the back. Beauty. If you wanna go to yeah. the passenger side. Sweet, Beauty. that works. So then hop in, throw it in uh, low range, Absolutely. and then everything's just gonna be super slow. Just Absolutely. no spinning tires, that's the key. <laughs> so that's how slippery it is. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Yeah. So it didn't quite pop out as easily forward as I expected. Didn't have quite enough angle to pull out. So I'm going to hook onto the rear. It's lighter. Winch back on. Pop them back into the tracks. And then just same. Yeah, through the end of that guy. Beauty. All right, got them hooked up. I'm gonna back myself into the soft. Acts as an anchor. Okay, he's hooked up. Reverse, no throttle. This one should get it. Oh 
come on. All right. Boat time, so you can throw it and park there. You remember how it was hooked on the side yeah, there? Absolutely. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Beauty. Thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, just put it in drive, and then since we're up here, you should be able to just idle, and I'll basically just pull you. That's how the tires will have the most bite. So uh, keep my tires straight. Yeah, just follow. I'll just follow you there. Yep. Basically, yep. yeah, stay right. <laughs> All right, so he's back on the road. It's too slippery for him to move on his own, so hook back on and just gonna pull him up to the corner. for turnaround so do a quick Rockford I'll pull him past the corner and then he can back into it that's good that little area and basically like usually I say things slow but like once you start going that keep direction that going. gas it keep and that hopefully you kind of pull going. a quick Rockford <laughs> You can just uh, loop it on my gas can there for now and if we put it away we'll use it again and if we don't then we won't need it. All right, unhooked again. He's going to try and do a bit of a Rockford J-turn, get pointing downhill, hopefully be able to pull out on his own. Yeah, right there. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. You. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wasn't exactly where we were aiming, but it worked. Heck yeah. All right. So he's uh, heading down now, but definitely not out of the woods, both metaphorically and literally. Well, and before I could even finish the sentence, um, he started to slide towards the ditch. So he's not stuck yet, but. We are doing the smart thing, hooking them back up. I'll pull them past this chewed up bad area and where he's back into solid ruts and can probably go on his own. All right, so the ruts are definitely better now. So hopefully the truck will stay straight. Uh, pickup trucks are the worst for kind of dog lagging, which is uh, the front tires being in one rut and the rear tires, tires being in another because the back ends so light and the front end so heavy. Looks like he's got her now. Pretty smooth sailing for a bit, so hopefully it's all good to the bottom. A few inches later. Looks like this hill might be giving him problems. It's pretty good incline in the shade. Well, the hill got him, so he still is moving back and forth, but there's a lot more hill to go. So rather than mess with it for a long time, we're just gonna hook up, be able to easily pull him up this and continue on down. I know you can't really tell, but it's pretty good grade all the way up and even around the corner, so. We'll just do the smart thing. So he came up here several hours ago. The snow would have been a lot more firm. Um, it warms up all day, gets really soft, and where you made it previously, no problem, 
can be a struggle in the afternoon. That's this time of year for you. Well, he's still on the line because there's a lot more uphill than I remembered, which is usually the case. It's usually worse than you remember, but we're nearing the top and then there's a few kilometers down, but it's about 50-50 right now. Sometimes he's good and then sometimes he's getting pulled. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> way slush year. Yeah, you were sinking all over. So it's definitely all downhill now. There's a lot less snow here. So that was basically just a couple kilometers of the same thing. Fighting back and forth and slushiness. That's this time of year for you. All right, well after a few kilometers of pulling him and then about a kilometer of him driving down on his own, he is out successfully. Um, my last YouTube video is currently premiering right now and I'm obviously not tuned in because I don't have service, so that's my bad. And apparently there was a Subaru that passed uh, these guys down here having a fire that hasn't come back and I mean it only gets higher and, and deeper. So I'm going to go the whole way through on this road, go out another way to check and make sure that Subaru made it through. because. I would be very impressed if it did. Well, I found a spot of service. This is where I am. Joining in live. Well, I was just on my way up and look who is coming down. The Subaru looks like Forrester. I cannot believe that. They made it further than where the ram was stuck and back down. It is so soft. Well, that means I don't have to go all the way through this road, so that's good. <laughs> that is extremely impressive. Uh, if you knew how soft the snow was and how much we messed it up. <laughs> all right, well, Subaru's out. Dodge Ram's out. It's very bright. I missed most of my video premiere, but that's all right. It's uh, dinner time. I'm heading home. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.